Okay, so let's go ahead and think about some authorization on the various different controller actions that we have. So first of all, it's good to note that we can apply authorization to a controller itself or its methods. So if we apply authorization to the controller class itself, um, then as you would expect, it will require the particular authorization that we apply to all of the methods in that controller class. So let's take a look at our forum controller first. So in order to make this a little bit easier to read, I'm going to go ahead and collapse all with control M O. And this is going to collapse actually to, to the method definitions in this class. So there are actions in our forum controller that I'd like, you know, non-authorized users to be able to hit. Um, namely the topic, which will be our list of forums, um, search, and the forum index. However, we'd like to ensure that only authorized users, and in particular users who have the admin role, can hit this uh, create action. And in fact, what I can do here is I can authorize with roles is equal to admin. And in this way, by passing authorize roles equals admin, I can ensure that only admin users can ever even enter the create method. And we'll also do the same on our HTTP post method that actually adds the forum from the add forum form. Okay, and our private methods are of course sort of just like implementation details of um, this class and of the methods in this class. We don't need to worry about those. So now let's head over to our home controller and I'll control MO. And there's nothing in the home controller that we really need to provide authorization for. One thing I'd like to do is to go ahead and move these private methods to the bottom of the class. And we didn't actually create an about page or a contact page or deal with the error page any more than the template has provided for us. Um, so I'll leave it to you if you'd like to add those pages to the application. But in any case, we shouldn't require authorization on anything in this class. We didn't work in the manage controller, so we'll leave that as is. This was a templated controller for us. And so now let's go into the post controller. And so really everything here in the post controller will require authorization. So let's go ahead and just add the authorization attribute to the class. Okay, and now for the profile controller. And so for our profile controller, for this, we'll also certainly want authorization. Now, we also have the ability to look at the entire index of users in our system, which should be an admin only role. Okay, and then the reply controller, we'll go ahead and collapse to definitions here. The reply controller, we can also safely require authorization for. And then our search controller, Here again, I'm just going to go ahead and move this public method up here above the private method. And then we'll make search available to any user, even non-authorized users. Okay, so that very quickly just adds authorization to our application. So now we can see, for instance, if we go ahead and start the server up, and we're currently not logged in, um, so we can search. So search works fine. Looks like we could also go back and apply some styling to the search results if you'd like. Um, we can hit the forum index, and we can view posts. Now, actually, when we hit the uh, post index, we're being asked to log in. 
And so let's actually stop the server. And what we'll do is in our post controller, we had set the authorize on the entire class. But indeed, we would like to allow guests or non authorized users to hit our post index. So we'll put authorize on the create method, the post method, and we don't need to worry about the private methods here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the server again. So you saw how when we had authorize on the entire post class, we couldn't even hit the post index. So now that we've moved the authorize to just the methods in the class that we'd like to authorize, we should be able to actually hit the post index. And so indeed we can. Likewise, if I just try as an unauthenticated user to visit profile slash index, I get redirected to the login. And if I try to log in, we get this message that you do not have access to this resource. And you can see that the access denied view is expecting this view data title. So let's go ahead and edit it to make it um, look a little bit neater. So in the solution explorer, we can go down into our views and then in account, we can look at this access denied. And what I'm going to do is just remove use of the view data altogether. And what's missing from the template was this at symbol. So it looks like perhaps another issue with the uh, default template that's provided to us. But in any case, we could say something like access denied. And we could make this an h1 tag and wrap it in a div. Okay, so we'll refresh the page here. And now we get a kind of like access denied message. You could format this as well as you'd like into um, making this look a little bit different as well. We might also configure our application to somehow throw like a 404 or something. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign out and just confirm that as an admin user, we can indeed hit our profile index from the URL and we can indeed. Okay, so that kind of wraps up a simplistic type of authorization that we'll do in this application. So now let's dive right into writing some tests.